Anthony Hardaway, on the other hand, with 31 points. And Orlando has done it from three-point land. They're 10 of 17 from downtown, but they're trailing by five. Dennis Scott getting it off in a hurry. Dennis Scott with his third straight three. It brings Orlando within two. And Larry Brown calls for time. A 10. It's down to six. Now to three. Workman has to force and it's blocked, taken by O'Neal. And Dick Pavetta indicating a, is he indicating a 24 second violation. The basket won't count. It's a 24 second violation, which means the ball will go to Orlando. And really a break for the Pacers there as Workman moved down to the baseline, forced to take that bad shot, and had it not been a violation, Penny Hardaway would have had that breakaway to tie this ball game up. 7.3 left in the fourth period. Very, very close. It looks like it was still showing one second as that ball was in the hands of Shaquille O'Neal. And really a bad break for the Orlando Magic. It's like keep an eye on the shot clock up here as he releases this shot. And the ball is in the hands of Shaquille O'Neal with still one second to go. The Magic should have had a breakaway. On the 22nd timeout, they cannot advance the ball. Therefore, Orlando gets it in the backcourt. The Magic will not be pleased when they see that replay on the 24-second violation call. Hardaway, down to three. Hardaway looking for the shot, gets it off the top. The Indiana Pacers have defeated the Orlando Magic 103 to 101. And they take a 2-0 lead in this best a five series. A season low of 15 points for Shaquille O'Neal. Reggie Miller led the way with 32. And this series shifts back to Market Square for game three on Monday night. Let's go over to Amal.